So, about two weeks ago, uh, my buddy Mari, who I mentioned in a few videos, she hit me up like, yeah, Kai, you want to come over? I'm going to have like a dinner party. We're going to chill. You can crash here, handle some business, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can film some of it. Everything will be taken care of. Come over. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. She named like five people. She's like, five people's going to be there. She's like, me, it's going to be me, it's going to be Aubrey, it's going to be Liz, Gabby, Megan, Siobhan, come over, no problem. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So, I get ready, I leave. It's a little bit late. I'm running late. There's problems. Because the New Jersey Transit, the 171 going in the Bronx, only one runs every, like, hour on the weekends. And it's a pain in the ass to deal with because it's always late. The first time I ever went to Mari's, the bus was two hours late. So I'm like, okay, I'm hanging out in the bus stop. Then all of a sudden I go outside, I start talking to one of these transit cops and he starts fighting with one of the people from this cab station. Cause there's like a cab joint right on the corner from the bus stop, like people get off the bus and they go over there and get a cab, whatever they're gonna do. I really don't have that problem because I just live right across the street practically, just across the ridge and I'm at the bus stop, it's real easy for me. And this guy, he stops and he starts to have a fight with, you know, the transit cop. He's like, you, you always fucking with my drivers. You, I've been here 16 years. You ain't tell that lady to move you over here talking to this woman, yo. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. You need to somebody parked over there. And the guy's trying to prove his point. And I filmed the whole thing. And this right here is the film. Thank you. 
So then I finally get on the bus after all of that, at least 20 minutes after the fight. And, uh, well, actually the 740 came at like 845 because this man, instead of going to the right bus stop, he went to the garage, which is like on Madison Ave or some shit. It's like far away. I don't know how the fuck you drive a bus and not know where you're supposed to stop. It's on the schedule. I just don't know. So I get on the bus. It was a pretty straightaway ride. I, I passed a couple of new things in Fairlawn because the Merlot Ave bridge is closed. So they like took a whole new route. So I passed a bunch of new shit. I need to go find out. I need to investigate what's good in Fairlawn. So I get off. I'm in the George Washington bus terminal. It's not a problem. I got to catch the freaking BX36, which I did not catch at the bus terminal the first time I caught it. I caught it down the street from a T-Mobile store on East One, no, on West 181st, because I needed to buy minutes. So I did not know what side of the bus terminal I needed to be on. So I go over this, you know, I think I went in the left direction. And the bus driver stops me. He goes, you need to be on the other side. And I'm like, okay, fine. The other side of the street or the other side of the building? He goes, the other side of the building. So I run, and I just missed it. That's fine and dandy. So the, the bus finally comes. I think it came at like 9.50. And who was it? The guy that told me I needed to be on the other side of the building. So I'm like, why couldn't you just, you know, whatever. And he just looks at me, and he goes, you need exact change, because I had two singles in my hand, and I'm like, fine, whatever. So I sit there for a minute. I count on my change. I made it rain dimes in the bus. So I, I'm sitting there. I give him his $2, and I'm like, yeah. And this guy tells me, you know, you don't just need change to pay for the bus. And I'm like, what does a bitch from New Jersey need with a Metro card? I have one. It's just not full right now. I think there's like 50 cents on my Metro card. What the fuck am I going to do with that? I walk everywhere I go, generally. <laughs> And uh, we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, they're doing construction. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and they're doing construction. They're doing construction. It was like on Amsterdam. They were doing construction on the road or whatever. So I start to film the guys doing the construction. They're moving shit around, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So here they are moving shit around, 10 o'clock. And they moved the bus stop down. I finally get to my stop. And they moved the bus stop down. The bus stop used to be in front of a bodega. So I'm sitting there real comfortable and I see it like it's getting ready to pull up and I get up and then they stop and I'm like, yo, you need to let me off right now. So I freak out, I jump off and then I walk up the steps. It's a freaking sixth floor walk up. That's not a problem. I walk up and this woman answers the door who I have never seen before in my life. I walk into this house and there's at least 15 people there. And I'm like, yo, this is not a dinner party. This is a party party, mommy. This is a party party. And I walk in and I go into this whole other room. I went to the bathroom for a minute to get myself together. And I come back into the kitchen and she jumps on me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in the right spot. I finally made it. And so I'm talking for a little bit and in walked Liz. Liz, the world's greatest mulatto lesbian who cracks me up every day. She walks in, she goes, I saw you walk in here. And then I began to film the party. And this, people, is the party. There are a couple of things missing. 
One, we stopped to preview Gabby's film, Spanish Girls Are Beautiful, which I have to say that I thoroughly enjoyed. That was a good ass 15 minutes. I'm anxiously in a wait for what the rest of the film is. I had a good time with that. And there's a little bit of us playing taboo missing. And there's more to come. This is break broken into like three videos, people. So here.